Hello beautiful people. Today I'm going to take you guys in somewhere. Can you guess where it is? Let me tell you, it will take me about 13 hours non-stop flight. So let's go. I'm here in southeast of Turkey, a place called Gaziantep. That's a huge city though. I never expected. I was a few days ago, I was in a trap zone and I said, oh wow, it's a big city. But I think this is more bigger than trap zone. I mean, I always thought that Istanbul, Izmir and Ankara, those three is the biggest and populated and the rest probably no people, not much. But I was wrong. It's a huge city. Lots of people, lots of cars, lots of business going on. In Turkey, basically anywhere you go, business. Restaurant, coffee shop, souvenir store, any store you talk about, everything is there. This business is very good here. It's still like old days, you know. Now in America, everything you buy from Amazon, right? Even a grocery. And uh, a small mom and pop store is gone. The bookstore is gone. Uh, a small jewelry shop is gone. Because everything you can buy by sitting at home. But Turkey is not like that. Not everybody buy from online. Everybody is still the old fashioned. They walk in the street, go and buy it. And that's the way we keep the economy, local economy and everybody's business running, you know. I don't think this is going to happen to America again. It's not going to go in back in that direction. In downtown uh, area, this castle, this castle located in downtown area in Gaziantep. So if you're driving, good luck. You have to be brave <laughs> to drive here. It's really compact and congested. Most streets are one way. So if you miss one, you need to go, you need to know how to come back. I, I do not know this city. So I park it about 10 minutes away from here in the auto park, uh, covered parking. I pay about 12 lira, which is maybe 90 cents US. And it's all day. And you can just walk around, go to the bazaar, see the city, come to see the fort, and uh, whatever you need to do. Maybe do some little shopping. If you want to buy something, uh, anything you want to buy. This is the place, downtown, cheapest, because no tourist here and they don't charge you as a tourist price. They charge you just a local Turkish price. So that's another good thing. Also your money change and everything you want to do right here in Gaziantep. There's some other places you can do, but Gaziantep in a downtown is probably the best place to do it. I'm looking for the ticket booth. I'm not sure where to buy the ticket to get entrance. It is a month of Ramadan which is means uh, Muslim don't eat during uh, the day. Uh, they only eat after the sunset. So I'm going to find out the ticket booth and buy a ticket and get in there. I'm not sure if the month of Ramadan they close it. Let's go and find out. Kali. Kali means castle. Oh, it's already prayer time for Zahur, which is a noon prayer. I hear the azan. I think I found it uh, right there that uh, little white cottage I think that is a ticket booth let's go I bought the ticket 10 lira per person but no cash uh, what you do basically you put your credit card on the entrance machine right here the machine you put your card, it is a wireless, uh, which is means uh, this sign here. And then you put the card 
and this gates open for you and they automatically charge you 10 lira they don't give you any receipt or anything okay guys before i give you guys a tour of this castle i would like to let you know about the huge tragedy of gaziantep the tragedy came right after i left the city unfortunately on february 6 2023 a powerful and intensified 7.8 magnitude earthquake has been struck and destroyed most part of this castle and the city. The total death toll has passed over 50,000 people and still rising though. The earthquake also destroyed the neighboring country Syria. Matter of fact, the controversial Aleppo city it's just 90 kilometers away from here. Our thoughts and prayer goes to the Turkish people and Syrian victim. Thanks to those war leaders for helping Turkey and Syrian victims. Keep in mind this video I have recorded prior the earthquake. So let me give you a little tour. This is a beautiful ancient Gaziantep fort. Gaziantep has been around for thousands of years. Uh, it is a cultural crossroad. Gaziantep province located southeastern Anatolia's region in Turkey. The original name was Entep. Basically, uh, later uh, they add on Gazi at the beginning of Entep. So now they're called Gaziantep in the military expedition. Gaziantep is generally known as the city of victory. Uh, the province has a little over population of 2 million people I believe and 450,000 are Kurdish. Um, and the Syrian refugee uh, since the war break out in Syria they also came lots of refugee in Gaziantep including in San Urfa and all around in Turkey almost 450,000 refugees. The city of Gaziantep known as the from the time of the Hellenistic period, which means the last era of the Greek civilization. Basically, it counts from the death of the Alexander the Great, which is around 325 BC. But this castle was constructed by the Hidi Empire, uh, I think during 1178 BC. So throughout the centuries, it has been renovated many, many times. You are looking at the history right now and the evidence of the civilization. During 661, it was ruled by Umayyad and I believe 962 captured by Roman Byzantine, then 1067 captured by Siljo, and 1098 Christian Crusader took over. And it was controlled by also Armenian lords and then 1150 to 1206, I believe, Armenian kingdom, Silica, ruled over. There was another part of tragic um, history about Turkey. Uh, during the time of Hamidian massacre, uh, 1895, uh, and also there was another massacre was in 1915. Matter of fact, both genocides were known as an Armenian genocide. Turkey has been went through so many tough times. Turkey never gave an opportunity to the enemies. It was attacking also Turkey. Uh, being a Muslim country in the middle of Europe, it was not easy peasy. If you know, Turkey also been attacked by Australia, New Zealand, uh, England, 
and other European country, and also France. So this museum you're looking at right now, this is about the France and Turkish war. That war taken 1921, which is known as a called Franco-Turkish War. The French uh, opened fire to the city, uh, tried to kill Turkish people. And so it's a war, you know, it's a, it's a military occupation. Uh, what you can say that both sides they want to fight, they both sides they want to kill each other. However, Turkey lost the war. They surrendered to the French army. But despite winning the war by French, they decided to leave this city to the Kemalist, uh, which is known as the Ottoman Empire. Turkish Ottoman Empire was one of the strongest empire ever. Uh, geographically, they conquest Europe, the Middle East, North Africa, all the way to the Yemen, Jordan, and Syria. 1922, Ottoman Empire just ended. And in 1923, became an independent Turkish Republic. Turkey joined NATO in 1952 and the present day Turkey is a number 15th military power in the world and the third largest military in the Europe. Every country has a war museum or some sort of museum about their liberation, the war, the freedom, independence and this museum is nothing different. Uh, this museum shows that how much bloodshed they have to go through and losses from the both sides, French and Turkish. And that is what we see today in this museum, that how patriot they are protecting their region, their country, their culture. Gaziantep Fort is uh, supposed to be an observation for military long, long time ago, you know, since 11th century. They always want to make sure there's no invader coming and attacking. Now, we know that this museum right now represent the war, their freedom. So, the thing is that for myself, personally, I never like war or I do not support any kind of a nuclear weapon. I mean, who are you making this uh, weapon for? To killing other human. So whoever involved making a nuclear bomb, regardless which country, I'm always against those ideas. Earth should be a peaceful place. But we are human beings, right? We are always going to be destruct this earth. Earth is going to be stay here. It's not going to go anywhere else. But the people will be displaced. People will die, people will be killed by another human, whoever has the superpower. So let's make the world peaceful, you know. We everybody should be uh, follow the peaceful path. You know, every time I travel some places and I go to some museum and it shows how people kill each other, uh, death, bloodshed, it's always make me upset. So you know, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's go upstairs of this castle and see what we can find. It's not so many people here. Okay, there is a little... Uh, electronic device. This is basically the count how many people actually coming in. Oh, it's a pretty big area. Nothing in the middle. Uh, there probably was some constructed building or something but uh, they may be destroyed or broken. Do you ever notice some word is uh, familiar? Cigara, ikmek. Sounds like it's a non-smoking 
in in this area <laughs> obviously known because of that cigarette shows but cigara is the same uh, like cigarettes in a turkish word i believe Wow, sounds like renovation never end, it keep going. Uh, this place, um, as per the sign, uh, look like it used to be a hammam, probably for the military. A hammam is a basically a Turkish bath. Uh, you go there and somebody give you a bath with the soap and everything, hot and cold water. I tried one time in a southern part of Turkey. Um, it was fun. But the hammam, the guy that who give you bath, it could be a guy or it could be a female, but they beat you up though, kind of. <laughs> the massage, the way they do, it is kind of painful. <laughs> You're not gonna understand what I'm talking about unless you really try for yourself. As I'm walking through this uh, rooftop of this castle, I see this beautiful Gaziantep city. A uh, matter of fact, this, all those houses, the buildings uh, you're looking at, there most of them are destroyed uh, during the earthquake. Uh, it's not the same that I have seen before. Now it is totally devastated. Most tourists you see here is local Turkish people. They came from another province. This video is about to be end. There will be posting more videos about Gaziantep, Rumkale, San Liorfa, Trabzon, Ujongol, and Sumela Monastery. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you would get a notification of new videos. Thank you for watching.